welcome back to the red path today we're going to take a quick look at some numbers so i can try and further convince you of the majesty of the quad heavy bolter rapier battery So, we're all likely familiar with the hot meta choice of dual Volkite Contemptors, right? In the competitive scene, especially for Chaos Space Marine armies, these units are putting in some serious work. Having tried them out myself, I think they are a solid unit to consider. However, one issue I've noticed is that as World Eaters, we don't have the ability to cherry pick wound rerolls, meaning we can't fully maximize the sixes needed to get those sweet, sweet mortal wounds. What we can do, however, is utilize Calm as a force multiplier to increase our accuracy from 66% to 88% in most circumstances. Spread over an established gun line, that 22% increase in volume is incredibly significant. Whilst playing around with lists and running both Volkite Contemptors and the Quad Heavy Bolters, I realized one Contemptor is exactly the same cost in points as two of the Rapier batteries. So, I wondered what an efficiency comparison would look like, utilizing two of the Rapiers versus one Contemptor. And, well, here it is. So, you can see that of the eight archetypes I examined, the Quad Heavy Bolters are more efficient in seven of them, ranging from only a 9% improvement to up to 52% versus Terminators. The damage spike really hits in the MEQ and TEQ range, but picks up slightly again at uh, about toughness seven and above. The AP and volume is what propels the quad heavy bolter in my opinion, as the rerolls have about 25% greater value, rerolling eight misses versus the six of the Contemptor. Without a way to improve the reliability of sixes to wound, the Volkite cannot be relied upon to spike mathematically, although it does have the greater risk reward potential of the two options. It's also worth noting the other significant differences. The Contemptor is toughness seven, it doesn't degrade or lose fire volume, it reduces incoming damage by one and is more mobile than the rapier and it's not awful in combat. The rapiers can never advance or charge, they're only toughness five but with ten wounds between them. Between two of them they will also give away two points for bring it down versus only one for the contemptor. In addition, you can only bring three of the rapiers so cannot wholly replace the three contemptors you could bring. But I do feel that bringing two of them in place of one of the Contemptors is an absolutely solid choice. It provides more options and is a problem for any opponent's army. Offensively, two quad heavy bolters outshine the Contemptor in most matchups, barring a Drakari heavy meta. For general play, I would personally take both, two of the Rapiers and one Contemptor, and then see where my points and slots allowed me further upgrades. In all cases, Khan should be used to provide the rerolls to these units to ensure they absolutely maximize their potential. Okay, that's just a quick one for today. I know these Forge World units don't really appeal to a lot of players, but I'm always looking for those killer combos and interesting units, so I thought I'd drop this overview as something to consider, especially for those of you who are looking to dive into competitive play with a Chaos Space Marine army. Alright folks, if you've been enjoying the content on the channel, please consider taking a look at our Patreon page. Our ability to make the content we do and improve our resources to produce even better stuff is very dependent on the support given by you, the community. We're planning some cool things for our Patreons in the near future, so keep an eye on it. All right, folks, as ever, stay healthy, stay safe, and kill main burn.